I'm Chris Martin. And I'm Dave McGrail. And we're getting down to the brass tacks and hard facts of the IRFA field adjustable pressure reducing valve. The IRFA field adjustable pressure reducing valve is a very compact design. On the inside, there's a dual nested spring. This design makes it very easy to adjust under flow conditions. The IRFA valve would be considered very fire ground friendly. In fact, firefighters would define this as fire ground adjustable. The way this valve is installed is it's actually set to the construction site and the pressure is set at the time of installation. After the pressure is set, the installer will then install this Lexan shroud. It's put into place with a pin and hex screw. Using this adjustment rod, 3 8 inch in diameter, we can easily access the rotating barrel to make the adjustment. Chris will take that protective shroud off at this time using that pin and hex driver. If that's not available, you can break that protective shroud off by attacking the weak points. Once that shroud is loose, we can insert the adjustment rod into the rotating barrel and under flow conditions, we can increase pressure or decrease pressure. Instructions are written right on the outside of the shroud for this. Once again, very user friendly fire ground adjustable valve. Only 15 pounds of torque required to make the adjustments. Previous valves were up to 75 pounds of torque. Fire ground adjustable, very firefighter friendly. We're now gonna go ahead and adjust the valve under flow conditions. Go ahead and open up, Shay. And as you can see, periodic adjustments have to be made based on the construction of the valve body here. I just pull that adjustment rod out, make an adjustment to it, bring it up to the next location, and make an adjustment. Similar to how you might use a lug wrench when changing a tire. Although adjusting a valve might not be something you're gonna do on every fire, it's still a good technique that must be known for any firefighter's training toolbox.